Good morning, saints. Um, it's a good day. It's the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Okay, uh, I want to do this video to encourage someone out there. Um, you can imagine I get lots of messages from around the world, you know, on different things, testimonies, um, prayer requests, and sometimes people just say, oh, I've been blessed by your music, and then there are other, of course, um, requests. Um, and it's always very difficult to reply every one of them. So, But one of the kind of messages I get is, People saying, Pastor I've prayed, I've fasted, I've given, I've sown, uh, I've lived holy, I've done this and that, and nothing has happened. Where is God? Is, does this thing work? And all of that, blah, blah. And you know, you can really understand you know, them. And um, people are going through a lot. I remember a particular woman <laughs> you know, sending me an email, Pastor Nat, uh, where is God? Doesn't this word says, um, say that if you have faith, that all things are possible? I've had faith, I've, I've sown seeds, I've you know, prayed, I've, I've done all I'm supposed to do, I'm not compromising, I've given, I've sown seed, given my tithe, you know, where is he, where is God? You know, almost like, you know, call him here, let him, you know, and in my heart, you know, I mean, of course you could understand and feel a frustration but in my heart I was saying oh oh please please forgive God I mean please have mercy on him <laughs> okay <laughs> you know and I'm like this is God <laughs> you know <laughs> the, the almighty God you know and I'm like ah God God has tried you know and um, but then and um, you can understand their frustration so I just thought to share this testimony it's something I've shared um you know years ago I wanted to travel so badly, you know, I've, I've written a post on this before, I've shared publicly, so some of you will know this, but I thought to just share it, you know, um, saying it, so that you get a, a better picture. Um, I wanted to travel so badly, and I mean, it's, it's, it's not uncommon for a musician, you know, a session musician, someone who wants to tour the world, you know, to desire to travel, it, it's it's one of the um, fulfillments we get as musicians, just traveling, performing around the world, experiencing other musicians, other, other musicians, other cultures, you know, connecting with other musicians and, you know, so it wasn't uncommon to have that, you know, um, desire. But then, you know, um, the hand of God came upon me. I, 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 I felt the strong call of God. And, you know, and, and the demand was to leave every other thing I was doing. I remember I was in a group called Spectrum 4 with um, Wally Oni, Ayo Sholanke, Joshua Patani, Tosi, um, and these guys. You know, and we, and we won a scholarship. Um, called the Berkeley Best Scholarship for, you know, we had entered into this competition and we won and we we're going to travel and just then the Lord said leave. You know, people thought I was crazy, thought I was mad. I remember a journalist writing in the Guardian, you know, and saying how can a young man this gifted be wasting away in a local church, you know, because he wants to serve God. Can't he still serve God? But of course, I mean, they didn't understand what God was doing with me. He was preparing me for what I'm doing now and for what I would, okay, still do. So, um, I left everything, began to serve in church, you know, had encounters with God from that time. God was working on me, you know, you know, building me up, you know. And then the church decided, okay, it was time to travel. Um, from time to time, my pastor, you know, then late pastor Esco, my mentor, would take some people from the choir to the U.S., to London for conferences, for convention, and it was never my turn, to, you know, but it wasn't a problem because, you know, God was doing so much with me. And then the church decided, okay, it's time you're going to travel. So I thought, okay, finally, uh, this same traveling, then we went to the U.K. embassy, I was refused three times. 
Remember, I'm in the will of God, okay? Three times. Went to the American Embassy three times. And then um, my pastor just won't give up because he thought, okay, you know what, you need to travel, you need to you know, have some exposure, you want people to see what you, you're doing and what God is using you. And then we had this special service and we had a great man of God. Okay, and I won't mention his name, come to church. It was a very anointed service. After the service, my pastor took me there. He had knelt down. They laid hands on me and they prayed for the favor of God. I went home. Okay, I, in fact, I didn't sleep that night. I had an all night service alone, you know, praying in tongues throughout the night. Um, I read the whole of Revelations from one to the end. Worship, dance. There's nothing I didn't do. You know, I prepared my TM Lewis shirt, you know, stashed it. The same clothes I wore to the, to the church <laughs> a day before. Because I wanted everything that had the anointing. I wanted the favor of God. I prayed and I sowed seeds. I, you know, I confessed the word. Got to the embassy and got this very powerful and anointed. No. <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> with a lot of tea, power and fire. Anyway, that was to be the, the, the straw that broke, you know, the camel's back. I just said, you know what? This travel, I beg, is not heaven. I said, this thing is not heaven. It's not, how can I be? This, all this time I did VG4 for, for this, the Holy Ghost helped me to die to travel. To travel. I couldn't even be bothered. I just felt, when it happens, it will happen. If it doesn't happen, no problem. It, 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 I, I believe it's the, um, the mentality of the, the three blue boys. You know what? God is able to deliver us. But even if he doesn't, I got to that point. And some of us need to get to that point. Anyway, to cut the long story short, years later, I travel so much, I don't even want to travel. I travel so much, some of the... Officers at the at the airport know me, immigration officers, people, and sometimes they say to me, Olga, do you do you sleep in the plane? A few days ago, I was in Canada. I I left Nigeria on on Thursday. I arrived Canada on Friday morning. Ministered Friday evening. Left on Saturday back to Nigeria. I mean, sometimes I go to nations with special visas. I mean, very high category. I'm sorry, category of visas for a select few. And, you know, I just, I just look back, I'm like, this is the same thing I wanted to, to, you know, to fast and to do. Anyway, God has practically opened the nations to me because the word was always there. All the while the, the visa was rejected, there was a word over my life that God was, you know, going to take me to the nations, I was, I, was, I was going to spill heaven upon the earth, I was going to, you know, go to nations and open up the heavens of our nations, but I was still denied. My passport had denied, 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 stand, bold, anointed ones. What's the moral? When it's not time, it's not time. You can sow seeds, you can give your time, you can do hallelujah challenge, you can dance, you, you will cry, you will fast. But when it's not time, now I know that it wasn't time. Because if I traveled then, I'm sure I would have gone there and then won't come back. Because I wasn't mature again. You see, when there is a prophecy, a promise over your life, we forget the other P, process. We just look at the, the promise, we look at the prophecy and forget that. There is a, 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 a time of preparation. Alright? So, I just want to encourage you. Delay is not denial. For some of you, the time has come. And I prophesy to those of you that who, who are in the season of performance, that you begin to experience the manifestation of the prophecies, of the promises of God in your life. But for some of you, the time has not come. And, you know, whilst I, 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 I can understand and relate with your pain, your frustration, all the things you do, 
will not change it, will not change that season. You know, we serve a God who makes things beautiful in his own time. In his own time. So I just thought to share this to encourage you. You know, when you see successful people, you see, you know, people go, God is using around the world with testimonies. I mean, there's a tendency not to look at the, 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 the past behind them. They've got scars. They've got a journey. They've got a story behind them. You know, so I just wanted to encourage you with this video that God has not forgotten you. And I'll say it again, for some of you, the time for your manifestation is now. And you will manifest. I mean, this thing is not, this, this testimony is not just about visa. It could be about your marriage. It could be about your ministry, your, your children, your career, your promotion, your business. Okay? Even your health. You know? But I want to, 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 to trust God that you know, if you are in your season, if your time has come, no devil can stop it. Oh, I know that. If your time, if you are in your season of manifestation, no devil can stop it. The only person that can stop that manifestation is you. And I pray that even in this season, even by the grace of God, even you won't be able to stop what God has purposed to do in your life. In Jesus' name. I hope this encouraged you. I'm doing this because of a lot of the messages I get. Okay, so when you see, you know, I mean, someone like me, you know, uh, doing what I do, you, it's very easy to think, oh, this guy is the best thing after slice bread. You know, and not realize that there was a time, you know, in that time that God called me that I, I sold my only trumpet to one of my prodigies, Jumbo Ann, who's in the States now, for 8,000 Naira, I sold my trumpet, my only instrument, because I had no money. I was trekking to church, and it was becoming painful. So I sold it for 8,000 Naira, sold my computer monitor to Jumbo, a neighbor, the same Jumbo, a neighbor who's doing greatly now in America, to have transportation to go to America. Yes. I mean, I don't want to go there, the, the things that, you know, we've given up. You know, which is why I, I, I tell people don't 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 criticize a genuine man of God who is blessed. If you have no idea what these guys have given up. I mean, there are certain times I, I dress and from head to toe there's nothing I bought with my money because you know, people, you know, God bless me. So I just want to encourage you that delay is not denial. And that very soon you will send me your praise reports. God bless you. Bye.